Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to the channel. We're on day 12 of our Darkness Fall series. Let's see, I got a couple things cooking last night. I made some boiled water, which I'll just hang on to for future recipes. Made some bread, made a little bit more bacon and eggs with what I had. Got some bread so I can possibly make a steak sandwich with, just not right this second. And let's see, I made some forged iron, exactly 20. Because with what I have, the forged iron and uh, something else, I can't even remember what I actually need now. I can make the metal workstation. Let's see, I need forged iron, I need 25 of that. Let's see, I have 23, uh, somehow or another I need two more. I don't, I don't know what, I thought I had enough for that, but at least that's an easy fix. Okay, well, I guess we're not doing that right this very second, but I at least have the ability to do electrical parts and I have plenty of wood. Also, real quick before we venture off here, I'll show you what I'd spent some skill points in. Let's see, I put another one into gun crafting so that I can actually make some better weapons. Uh, let's see, I put another one into... What did I put the other one into? I can't even remember what I put the other one into. Hang on, we'll, we'll get there in just a second. Let me see what I put the other one into. I put another one into the Survivor Level 2, and that's all I spent on. I had one extra point left over um, because I can actually make a P225. Um, I have all the, the ability to since I have Gun Crafting Level 2, and I can actually make one. But the problem is that I have to be able to be able to make a pistol parts, pistol barrel, and a pistol grip. I have the receiver that I found. These three are just things that I have to have, like forged steel and polymers, and I make those inside a lathe, which I don't have either. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's something we're not going to do right now. All right, first things first. I'm, uh, what's up? <laughs> Could you not? Is he, like, right in, he's right around the corner. What are you shooting at now? He's just... <laughs> He's drunk again, man, just kind of staggering along, doing his thing. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to venture right over here and get this airdrop. It's not that far, but I'm nervous right here because I'm pretty sure that's the Burnt Forest. And uh, the Burnt Forest can be pretty bad. It's not as bad as the Wasteland, and we did okay there. But I'm, tr you know, venturing into different biomes in Darkness Falls, I don't exactly know what to expect. So this, uh, I've been a little bit trepidatious about coming over here. But I'm coming to anyway because I know airdrops are beneficial, especially when it comes to food. Let me see, I turn my headlamp on here. It's all foggy. Oh, I don't miss that. I don't miss driving around in the fog. Oh, we did 70 something days in fog. Of course, it's in a tree. Well, I can chop that down. All right, so we got coal over there. I can deal with the burning zombies as long as they're not sprinting at me. Let's see, let's get to where we need to. Oh, it's not in a tree, it's just up on a hill. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, that works out. Let's see. Let's park it real quick and keep an eye on what's going on around us. Make sure there's nothing crazy happening. Let's see. This won't take very long. Ooh, a dart trap schematic, some more rebar frames, a welding torch, which I already have, duct tape, and a claw hammer. Okay, so we really didn't get that much for that. Now, I'm, I'll realize that the welding torch is something that people are jealous when I got the first one. An extra claw hammer since I had to use one for my workbench. It's not a terrible thing. I, I'm not unhappy with that haul. The rebar frames are going to be great because I can use that for what I'm going to do with the horde base. I'm just going to let all of y'all just stay right over here in your own little thing. I'm not even going to bother with you guys. Just act like you didn't see me. We also have a tier 1 um, clear that I think is literally in the same house we already did not that long ago. Which just make it a little bit easier. What I'm going to do is just run in, wham bam, thank you ma'am, kill everything that's in there. And pretty much call it good. Is that a deer? Hang on. Oh, that's an actual buck, too. Hey, you. Stay real still. I'm going to end up shooting the mailbox. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we got him. Ha-ha. I don't know if there was a headshot or not. We'll see if he still has his head attached or not. But that's free meat. Ah, oh, it's a bear. Hey, there's a party over there. Oh, God. Let's, uh, let's not... Piss off that little group. Where's my chetty at here? I need to kill this bear as part of the challenge, but you know, on the other side, I really don't want to. Oh, that was a headshot. Yeah. Get some extra meat. We'll be able to use that for our meat sandwich, which we got to make grilled meat for. I don't know. I don't want to deal with y'all right now. I'm, I'm not doing it. Y'all can follow me if you want to. I want to go down here and do this clear mission. The last time I dealt with me, and the main reason why I'm doing it is not because I'm scared. I want to make sure that's abundantly clear to everybody in chat. I'm not scared to fight that many zombies. 
I don't want to be fighting that many zombies and a bear show up because he'll come after me. And I, I just know it. He'll come after me. He'll eat me. We'll, and then he'll crap me out right outside my house. And then probably go inside and steal everything. Just because that's how the bears are. Oh, there's a popping pills down there. Nice. I think I saw that once before, but I don't remember. Right, so here's this little hole in the wall house we already did once before. Make sure none of those idiots are come running. Hang on. I should probably switch to an actual weapon here. All right. Before we get inside, let me see. I can go ahead and eat... You know what, I'm going to eat these apples here, basically. That's an extra 20. I can get it back up real quick. And somebody had told me that if I put them in my tool belt and just spam the button, it'll go up even more. Um, we'll do that at a later date. I'm not worried about that. Hang on this. Let me see. I can just read. Bam. Got you. Bones I don't necessarily need, but I'll hang on to you just in case. I will go ahead and get this. Get the water back up. Got to keep the stamina. Got to keep the health up. Are we clear for a half a freaking second? At least when I get up into the attic where things went terrible last time. Which, let me make sure everything's reloaded this time. Yeah, last time we were running around with our blunder by here. Okay, but now we got us a pistola. So we can rapid fire if a football dude comes running up at us. Um, yeah, I think I have to just bust in here. I don't think there's a fast and easy way to get in. I think I had to do that last time. But, it's okay, I have a lockpick. Oh, I love that. That crowbar is probably one of the best tools that I've encountered in this game thus far. And you know what I should probably do? Just in case. That won't stop anything, but at least slow them down for half a second if they should decide to come running up at me. But we get to kind of reloot this place a little bit. What are you? Butchering tool schematic? What the hell is a butchering tool? Hunting knives and machetes. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. All right, I'm just going to take you with me for the moment. I will read. Oh, I'm glad that all these are here. Now, what are you? Reloading weekly. Learn how to craft your own ammo. Hello? I don't know if they're upstairs or outside. And another schematic. And since we already have this one, I can scrap this. And I should get the notes for it that I'm going to end up needing for other things. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Before we... Hello? I have a traveling salesman over here that's... Hold on, let's ease around the corner and make sure it wasn't this entire group of idiots outside. Oh, it's just coal. Okay. Take out a knee. Thunk! Face plant. Did you like it? I did. And he is down. You didn't bring any of your friends with you, did you? Okay, good. All right, let's go back inside here. Actually, before we even get started, let's say that's what we get, the bundle of skill notes. All right, I'm going to put you here because I don't need that for a moment. I'm going to read this, which I can't even remember what I literally was just looking at here. Reloading weekly, learn how to be able to craft mode ammo. Okay, so that should technically work. And the butchering school tool schematic. All right, so I should, from what I'm gathering, that should be able to craft a machete, right? Of, well, I got the butchering tool schematics. I just don't have the the uh, actual skill point for it here. All right, so that cold... Actually, there's two of them over there. Why are there so many burn zombies over here? All right, anyway, let's get inside. We need to get through here, clear it out as quickly as possible. Those are going to be just paper, I guarantee. Oh! Hey, look! You know what? Hang on. Let me, let me, do, let me do this here, just in case here, because I, I don't want to miss... I did this once before here. Okay, so I read it from there, right? I mean, that is right. I, I did do that right. Hang on, that was the compound co crossbow. that Or uh, compound bow. So I don't have bow crafting in a high enough skill level for this, do I? Let's see here. I don't have... I'm, I'm just trying to make sure here because I messed up the last one here. Bow crafting. I don't have this in either one. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. Hey, at least we got something besides paper in there, though. And another pistol schematic. Well, that's okay because I get some notes for them. All right, uh, is there anybody in the kitchen? Nobody in the kitchen. I should probably make sure I have a weapon in my hand before I just go nonchalantly walking in. Anybody over here? Check the luggage for something good, and there's nothing at all. Not a single thing. All right, let's get in here and search this. I do plan on getting some uh, some supplies done, or not some supplies, some work done over on the horde base. I have an idea of what I want to do. I don't know if it'll work or not, that's going to be one of those, if it fails while we're in the middle of the Horde night, well, we may end up dying. But if it works, 
then, well, maybe we won't die. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. It's an idea. The Darkness Falls hordes don't play by the same rules that all the other ones do, so who the hell knows? All right, let's uh, knock on this door. Knock, knock. Anything in the toilet that I actually want? Something good. Eh, lead's not bad. You know what? I need to put this back down there. End up needing that and not have it. That's our actual hunting rifle. Make sure it's reloaded. Okay. Time to head upstairs. I'm going to make sure I'm going to peek out here real quick just to make sure there's not anybody on the way. Okay, those two idiots are doing their thing. You're both empty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. I really do. It's just, it's just exciting hearing them get all excited to hear me, you know. Hello? Hey, door's over here, dude. I know you're just a construction worker, and I'm not talking bad about construction workers. They do a job I definitely don't want to do. But you're giving them a bad name, man. Owen, you've had better days. See if we can straighten that nose out a little bit for you. Check our corners. We're going to have to use our key. Is this one locked, too? That, no, that one's not um, That one's not locked. But we'll go... Uh, Kyle, you need to just back the hell up, dude. You need to get back on your Adderall here. You're just way too spazzy for my liking. Uh, okay, sure, we'll do that, too. Nice! Look, the bookshelves are all in here. Are almost all completely reset this time, too. Nice. Uh, rocket launcher schematic. Hell, yeah. Pump-action shotgun. That would be fantastic to have. And workbench, which we already have, so we will scrap that. Because we can always use the notes for it. That's great. That's fantastic. I'm glad we're getting some schematics to things we don't already have. Eh. Hello? I thought I heard something real quick. Scrap you, scrap you. I have enough freaking cooking pots here. I have extras at the house that I still haven't used. I'm guessing it's probably nasty. Well, got some ammo, but I'm leaving the turd behind because I don't want it. Probably nothing in the luggage. One thing of water. That's not bad. Some nails. That's going to be good because I need to make some more chests. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can go up here this time and not completely put ourselves into a pickle maybe oh that's that's frank he's got some life to him now let's see F last time there was a football player can't see anybody but frank let's see if we can get a headshot on old frank here uh disturbed there he is okay so frank oh baby yeah somebody else is awake Hello? Oh, there's a football player. You know what? I'm not putting up with you this time. I can handle Frank. I say that as he comes running up at me. You're going to get quick scope, son. And your life is low enough now I can just beat your face in here. Oh, you jiggle in the middle like Santa Claus. That's gross, dude. Oh, it's still pulsing. That's nasty. All right, somebody's outside, but I don't care. That's really gross. All right, so this counts as cleared. So we can actually uh, just get the good loot. You know what? This used to be a tactic back in the day. Haha, -ha, now you can't climb up here. Make sure that's everybody up here. And we get to get the good loot again. That's going to be fantastic. Are you locked? You are locked, but guess what? I have a key this time. Uh, okay, I guess that's not going to work on that. It does more damage than if I just beat it down. It does 300 at a time, but I can also just hopefully lockpick it. Okay, we got to pause for a second. I don't know what's beating or what's all the noises, but it sounds like they're getting really close. I want to make sure that they're not at the bottom of the ladder about to get up here before I start doing looting. I was listening to them as I was trying to wait for this lockpick to go through here. Oh, nice. Another triple pocket mod. Oh, that's like finding gold and some metal spike mods. Okay, so you. I can put you on here. Bam. Now you are even more beastly. Let's see. It. I shouldn't have to use it. And I shouldn't have to use that down there. You, I can scrap. You, I'm definitely going to be putting on something that I can absolutely need here. Let's see. What can I put you on? Can I fit? Can I? Can I put you on there? I can put you on there. And now we have even more inventory space. Oh, man. That's fantastic. 
unlock about another 10 more spaces and we'll have a full half of our inventory. Yep, a full half. That's that's an actual valid amount. All right, let's crack in here. Maybe we can get some books. Get it, you know. All right, I don't know what all the noise is down there. I don't. I, I really don't know who's down here. Hang on. Let me see. Maybe we can... It, it sounds like somebody died and then dropped a loot bag. Oh, please don't fall out of this window. Man, this used to be a thing. I'd like hang up here in the attic, make a ladder going up here so I could get down to the awning there. And I could bail out real quick if I needed to. What's up, Cole? Here, I'm moving that out of the way real quick. Come here. Hey, where are you? Is it just you? I mean, is that... Hang on. Let me see if I can get down here. Let me let me down the ladder. Is it just you? All right, come on up here. We're going to play some whack-a-mole. Oh, you can't climb ladders, can you? You know what? I don't, I don't got time with you. I got to go do some loot. I'm trying to get some work done today, and you're really kind of impeding me. Dude. Whoops, we missed. Here, hang on. Center mass will just screw the head shot. All right, we, was it just you making all the noise? I swear to God. Okay, so we got a couple things we need to open up here. Something good. Oh, nice. We got a junkie. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Some sham and a potato. Gas can schematic. And a steel spear schematic. Well, we can scrap it down. We can get a little bit more of the notes. We're getting closer to being able to use our um, writing desk that we just made to get the next one. Now, oh, there's a, I did hear a loot bag, huh? I can take the pink out of that and sell it and take the wood, sweet. All right, we are encumbered, but I don't care. I did get you, right? Yep. All right, and get back over to the trader. Hopefully that wandering horde that was there is gone. Maybe the bear is still kind of close by and I can, yeah, let, let's, let's do that. Let's run right into the dirt. That sounded fantastic. Okay, uh, let's get back over the trader real quick, turn this in, and get our prize. Easy peasy. Should probably close this. Also, we can see what time it is. We've got plenty of time. I'm gonna guess it's probably right around noon. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the work done on the um, the uh, thingy, that thing, you know, that one place over there, the Horton base. That's what it is. Thank you, survivor. Baseball bat, a wrench, nine millimeter ammo. Let me see the wrench. I've got a wrench. I don't need the baseball bat. I'm not using it because I have this bad boy, which is not as good. But it's a higher level, so I've got more mods on it. Steel ammo for the 9mm, that could actually be kind of beneficial. I guess I'll take it. I guess. Let's see, do you have anything that's real close? 151 meters, that's not bad. That's just a fetch quest Would north of us. Trailer park. Oh, okay, so that's going to be... God bless you. That's literally going to be right next door to where we just were. Look, we just did this house, and now it's over here. Those trailer parks, you can get some cool stuff in them, though. Um, this did not reset yet, but let's see. It's only one o'clock. All right. So that's about, that's about good here. So I think I know what I'm going to do with the horde base. Uh, they're slowly making this way, their way over here, but you know what? I'll let you make your way over here slowly as much as you want to. Maybe the traders will shoot at you a little bit and I can have a moment of reprieve while I'm trying to think. There's so many things that I need to do. But, of course, one of the first things I need to do is get the horde base ready. Uh, let me drop off a few things first that I don't need on me. Alright, my inventory is full. I'm going to have to make some more crates here. But, it sounds like we have a small gathering of people out here, maybe. Uh, the traders have been doing some shooting for a little bit. So, I'm going to assume that I see one radiated dude right... Actually, that might be a chick. That looks like Lois. Um, but, it kind of looks like, based on just the amount of ammo that was shot... Hey, you know, maybe, we, maybe we can get a... Hang on, I don't have a scope on this, but I do have some range here. Oh, she got the click. Oh, he did it again. Oh, what? We swayed. We hit him that time. He's not dead. We didn't get the sneak damage this time because he knew we were coming. But at least maybe he'll stop working on that uh, horde base or the uh, trader base over there. See, right? Did we get you? Oh, we are a sniper and we don't even have a scope on there. Let's see if we can hit Lois on the run here. Bam, baby! One shot at her. Hell yes. We are BAs. What can I say? Okay, so what I need to do 
to kind of get things started. I make I need to make a couple ladders. Let's see. I don't know how many I need. I'll start with five just because that sounds like a good number. Let's see, not going to need you. Uh, I do need to get my hammer, my stone hammer, because it works better than a claw hammer for some reason. Where did I put you at? Okay, got you. Probably close the door this time. I don't know where our wandering trader is. Maybe he'll come over here and help kind of keep an eye on this. All right, so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to at least put these down here where they're supposed to go. I need to make this base a little bit higher, obviously. Uh, let's see, I can put you up. I think it... No, let's not do that. I think it too high. I can still reach this. No problem. Yeah. And the zombies cannot. I also do know I need to upgrade this right here in the middle part. Just to kind of keep everything as strong as possible. And eventually I do need to upgrade the outside to cobblestone at least here. But what we're going to do to start with. Let me see. I'm going to do like you. Like that. Um, actually we're going to do like this. Okay, so this is how high I'm going to make the actual tower. So this will be the top level of it. Um, I'm kind of saving some frames right now just until I get things organized the way I want to. Okay, so this is going to be the top edge of the tower, okay? Okay, so you can you, so you can visualize what I'm doing. I should be able to fall off here without dying. Okay, all right, so that's going to be the top. So I should probably, hang on, let me... Uh, Upgrade that one real quick just so I have the most amount of stability when I'm trying to build this out. So what I want is right before the hole coming in, of course, I want it to be a um, step up, of course, because then it makes them have to come after me a little bit. Uh, it makes them have to pause long enough so the ones that are getting there, I can possibly shoot them in the face. Now I'm going to try to do a little bit of kind of a winding curve a little bit. So like... Hang on, I should probably go all the way to the ground with you for structural stability. I'm going to put that right there so we have another step going over. What's up? Dude, he's just trying to get inside the house. Leave him alone. He's not hurting anybody right at the moment. All right, I'm going to put you underneath. All right, so we got stability over that way. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to make you come out this way to right here. We're making a bridge, obviously, if you can't tell. And we're going to try and put as many steps on there as possible, just so when they are trying to figure out how to get up, they have to uh, go up a couple different steps. It'll make them slow down, basically. And we'll put you... We'll do like that. That should be good. Put one like that. One like... Not right there. One like that. And one like that. Okay. I think that's how I want. Let me see here. Okay. So they'll have to come over here, stumble around. They have to make a jump here. Because every time they jump, they have to slow down. And that'll give me enough time to kind of shoot some. And then, bam, they'll hop up here. Hopefully, with all of this, I can shoot down here. I'll have the traders over there shooting at some, too. And I'll be up a little bit taller. I'll have the cover, the top covered up here. Where we, We're good on time. I just want to make sure. And, uh, yeah, so I think that'll work. Is there a zombie here I can test? Well, no, if they start coming at me, the traders will shoot them. I am absolutely going to utilize the trader's ability to shoot zombies to help me out. I'm not even a, I'm not even ashamed to say that. So, I think that's what I'm going to probably do. Let me go ahead and get some more upgrades over here real quick. All right, so I got that level of it done right there. Now, I have a chunk of rebar frames that I'm going to use to replace uh, some of the other ones. Just so I can, it'll be a little bit stronger here and I can upgrade to concrete. Like the ones that's right around here, I know that those are going to be hit a whole lot. I'm trying to keep an eye on how many I'm actually using here. Okay, so let me see if I do that. Put you here and I come down across like this. You okay over there? Who's breathing so hard? It's not me this time. <laughs> Alright, we come out this way. I don't know why it's so strange about wanting to put it right down in the middle there. Put you like that. Go bam, bam, and bam. Okay, so now we can't upgrade this until I actually get some concrete, but that's not a big deal. At least, if nothing else, the frames are pretty sturdy. Get all these upgraded a little bit. I'll try to worry about getting some concrete mix made i gotta get a concrete mixer but maybe i can buy some from these idiots i might have a little bit that i have found i'm not sure but this is the premise that that's <laughs> i'm sure there's some people watching right now they're gonna go hey cap uh you know that's not gonna work right to which point i'm gonna say it might you don't know and this will be my uh, my way of getting kind of an escape going here so if things go terrible and i have to bail i'll be able to get out the backside. 
So let me finish uh, kind of getting this upgraded a little bit. Oh no, I'm out of wood. Shocking, I haven't been out of wood in a little while. Um, also something I'm going to do is I'm going to have probably right here would be a good idea. I'm going to keep like a window along with this here that I'll be able to put Junkie on so he can shoot them as they're kind of coming up a little bit. And then I can stand right here and I can pelt them as they start going here. And every time they have to pause to go up another step, I can shoot at them. If I wound them, knock them off, then they have to run back around and get back up. I can just get them to run in a circle. Traders helping out over there. I have some explosive crap that I can shoot at them. All right, let me make sure we're clear for a second. I need to go chop some trees down, get some more wood. I'm going to start with this dead one over here since it respawned after we had to reset that little thingy. But I think this is going to work. We'll just have to see. Let's get some wood. I had to finish off that last little tree with my freaking stone hammer because my regular axe went ahead and just broke on me, so I can't even use it anywhere. It's not broken, of course. It just needs to be repaired. All right, so that gave me a chunk of wood. I need to get up here. I need to see how many frames I have left to make. A lot, of course, because i got to finish this level off plus get the rest of the um, the roof built this around here. Um, I'll probably do kind of a partial roof instead of just like a full covering so I can kind of see what's going on around, you know, all the other edges. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be five across. So I should only need six frames to get going. Um, just for this particular one here. I'm just trying to finish the top level of this and we'll worry about getting the actual the rest of the uh, roof and stuff done at another time. But at least I feel like I have a decent chunk of what I need to done to kind of get started. Now I realize that anything that can shoot at me or jump up here without having any kind of a top one is definitely going to hurt me. But, so I can put a frame here, put a frame here. And technically, I could put like a hatch right here if I need to, just so it slows them down just a little bit more. Anything I can do to make them slow down just a little bit is kind of where I'm going with that. Hey, I wonder if... Hang on, maybe we can uh, maybe we can test this out here. Um, nope. That uh, two-time skill, or two-time sneak damage when you shoot them with a rifle is pretty damn fantastic, if I do say so myself. All right, so let's put one more ladder piece right up there. We can get up here. If things go horrible and we have to bail, then we can at least jump and ta-da, we made it. We're good to go up here. I need to be able to get some concrete. If it looks like I'm not going to be able to get concrete by the time uh, the horde knot goes, I'll just replace this with wood or just wood blocks and upgrade them like we have been. But I think we'll probably be okay. Uh, let me see. I have a little bit of wood left. I'm going to be a little bit low on food. I was trying to see if the wandering trader is anywhere. Is he gone? Did our wandering trader finally wander off? That's kind of sad. I was just going to go see what time it is real quick to see how much time I have before daylight ends. Uh, there's a couple more things I want to do inside the base before it gets too dark, but I do want to see what time it is. Uh, I really want to get the metal workstation going. All right, so it's 630 Got some time left. I want to get the metal workstation going so I can make me a freaking watch, man. Because <laughs> I'm tired of not knowing what time it is. Ever. I just always have to keep checking the stupid vending machines or running over the vendor. I want to know what time it is. I missed that feature. It's been available since Alpha 1. I don't know why Kane decided to make it so difficult. I'm like, you know what? No. We're not giving it to you. You can't have it. So, I need to make a little bit. How much more forged iron did I need? See, I have 23 and I need 25, so I need to make two more. I don't think I have any... Let me see, where's my iron and some clay? Forge iron. Let's see, put a little bit of wood in there. I need to make two. Is that enough wood to make two? That's enough to make two. All right, let's get these two real quick. Uh, put this stuff back over here. I don't have to have all me just yet. I do want to get this meat cooking real quick so I can make some, uh, hang on. Steak sandwich. I do want to get some grilled meat going here. It's not going to take but, what, five, I guess, to do grilled meat. I can get one. You got enough wood in there? Okay. And then I can make me a steak sandwich. I need to be able to make a lot more bread, but it, it's a little bit more in 
It's a little bit more intense than I thought it was going to, to be able to make dough. See, I have a little bit of flour. I have some wheat that I found. And I have, let me see, flour and wheat's pretty much what I need. And then I need something else. I don't even remember what it is right this very second. All right, got both of those. All right, turn you off. Save the little bit of fuel that we have. So, metal workstation. What do we need for that? Uh, we got plenty of wood and we got the forged iron. We just need the electrical parts. Do we have enough? We have enough, and now we can make... That's going to take a little while. Okay, well, we'll wait for our sand... Our, uh... There we go. Let's see, turn you off. Recipe, steak sandwich. Can't do that in there. I have to do it just here. Let me do it like this. Steak sandwich. Bam. And, well, we got to wait four and a half minutes for our two-minute sandwich. Of course it does, because that's just the way it works out when we do things. All right, well, let me get some of my other stats topped off here while we wait for this to refill a little bit. And we have ourselves a metal workstation and a steak sandwich, and we're repairing our axe. Let me put you down right over... Holy mama, that's a... That's a big one. Okay. Uh, what's... What is blocking... Oh, it's probably this thing right here. Uh, let's see, where did I put... Oh, it's not done yet. There it goes. Put you over here. I'm going to assume that you are blocking the way. Is that what was causing the problem? You take up some space now. Well, I may end up only just having you over there, but nice. Now we can make ourselves a watch. Or at least I think so. Uh, let me see. We have the blowtorch. I need to have calipers. I don't think I have calipers. I have the blowtorch. I'm going to go ahead and put you in here just so I can say I did... And I don't know if I can even make caliper. Maybe that's a work workstation thing. Can I make calipers? Loot only cannot be crafted. Oh, I'm going to have to find some of those. But what I did do was I made a mortar and pestle because it only takes a little bit of clay to do that. Now, I don't know where this goes specifically, but I know that it's going to be used for uh, farming sort of stuff. So I'm going to put, you know what? Yeah, I'll put you right there. So in here, you can use it to make a bunch of different kinds of seed. You can it, It's just good to actually have. So we're good to go on that. At least I have this. Man, I'm I'm sad that I'm still not going to be able to make a damn watch because i got to have the calipers. And I don't have any calipers. Or if I do, I don't see them in here. <laughs> man, it's, a, it's always one thing, man. It's always like, oh, you think you're going to get that? Nope, it's not happening. Not today, sir. All right, then. Well, I think we made some pretty good progress today. Got a lot done. I'm excited about how much work we got done. It's getting close to dark. I hear the crickets chirping. So we're going to wrap this one up here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Of course, tips are always welcome in the comments, but no spoilers, of course. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're not already, so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.